Zins mowers. Today's video. This old Briggs and Stratton engine. I would believe this is from the 1970s or 80s at the latest because of this air hat. But anyway, this is a lawn keeper edger. The edger's pretty beat up, but the motor's still good. So we're going to be pulling the motor off, but I just want to show you how beat up this edger is first. As you can see, the blade spins like, well, even when this is not engaged, so, and that bow is kind of burnt. There's other issues with the edger, so I'm not going to be keeping the edger. I'm going to be putting this motor on a Montgomery Ward's Bird Duck mini bike I have. No, I know some of you mini bike people agree that those had originally had to come see motors on it, but this is a Briggs motor. And I like Briggs a little bit better. But anyway, we're going to start pulling this motor. Okay, taking this motor off, we got to deal with three things. This cover. we got to deal with the engine mount bolts and the choke cable. But I think I'm going to start with the, end, uh, with the side cover. It's 3 8 bolts on the outside. These two bolts down here. I think they're 3 8 inside, but I couldn't find a 3 8 wrench, so we're using these. And anyway, you come over and over here. Got to get the belt out of the way and slip these in and grab the bolt inside. And then we're just going to come out here. And two bolts should get this off. At least that's what I found. It just depends on how your edger is set up. And I have an air ratchet, but... All I have is chrome sockets, and you're not supposed to use chrome sockets with an air ratchet. Nor do I have a re uh, a reducer to go down to three eighths. And I'm sure if you get these loose enough, you should be able to to get them off by hand if they're not stuck on. And I think I can get. Now we've got the side cover off. This motor's going to be coming off pretty soon. I want to take the choke cable off before I pull the engine mount bolts. These are the older Briggs and Stratton air filters. This nut comes off, righty tighty lefty loosey. Pull that cover up. There's the filter, just slide that off and then take that off. Make sure you don't lose these parts because I don't know that they still make them. Now, you're going to want to get in here close. There's a bracket that this choke lever pulls back. And you just got to find this cable and find a way to wiggle it out. So, doing my best. I guess I guess that cable's off and then there's a, a bracket that you're going to have to use a socket for I'm going to find what I think might be the right one and once I find the right socket that'll come off pretty easy I think that's a metric size. Oh, yep. I think once we get this bracket off, this, this little clip off, this choke cable will come right off. It's that easy. And I guess this was still connected somehow to the motor. So we're just going to have to wiggle it out of there as we go. Choke's disconnected. Uh, we're getting to the last part. The choke cable is off. Now what we're going to do, I have a half inch wrench for the top bolt. And then this is a 716 socket. This is probably your typical mini bike mounting pattern or whatever. They use half in, on the top and 716 on the bottom. And the wrench, it just holds the, it just holds the bolt from turning while you're loosening the bottom. Well, these break pretty easy, and I'd some, and sometimes, like I said, you can hand tighten them or, or whatever. 
But now, once I get all these off, you want to save your bolts too in case your mini bike doesn't have mounting bolts. I'm just going to crank the rest of these off. Oh, if I could find the other bolt, that is, yep. <clears throat> and sometimes they'll be hard to get to, but you just got to bear with your machine. And, and then make sure you keep your washers if you can, too. I mean, these bolts, this is probably about 2 or $3 worth of fittings, but if you can save that, please do. And the same thing on the back side, half on top, seven sixteenths on the bottom. Now the motor will probably fall right out once I. <clears throat> oh yeah, this motor is getting ready to fall. So. And I'm saving all my bolts, like I said. And I think we're going to put the edger up like this to get the last bolt out of there. Now on this last bolt it's kind of tricky depending on your machine to get to. You find my half on top, 7 16 on the bottom. I guess these are the original motor mount bolts because this motor hasn't been off since this machine was built. Sometimes these are tricky and, and our socket extension is recommended for more leverage. I think that pretty much does it guys. This motor is off. Alright, we're back for our final segment. Of course we pulled the motor off of that platform which is this crappy edger that's going to the dump or might be used as an engine test platform. This right here is an Allen wrench. Unsure, unsure of the size, but if you have an out, you're going to need one of these Allen wrenches to take this pulley off. Sometimes they're trickier than others. Sometimes they might be rusted on, depending where your machine was. But anyway, there's a set screw right inside this pulley. You just get your Allen wrench inside of there and go. It's like any other screw, righty tighty, lefty loosey, and you go on top whenever you get it. And then it pulls, you slide it right off your shaft. As far as this engine, this is a 5 8 shaft because it's thinner than the regular, it's thin, thinner than the 3 quarter shaft. And I have a 5 8 clutch somewhere for that mini bike, but I don't know when I'll be putting this all on and whatnot. But anyway, this has been a good video. I filmed with Mass and Tigers Go. And Mr. Trevor, I will be linking their channels in the description of the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Go Tigers, beat Austin Town Fitch, and have a good day.